Yes, all of that was shot on a smartphone. That too, an iPhone. Hello guys, I'm CJ and in this video, we're gonna talk about macro photography. Quarantine hairstyle on point, Jack. Now, smartphone photography nowadays has evolved so much that there's almost like a cartel war going on between smartphones and DSLRs. The DSLR companies are losing a lot of their customers to regular smartphone casual shooters because smartphones have become that good, especially with the computational photography. Now they, they can take portrait photos, they have zoom lenses, but there's one key area in which smartphone photography has still not matched the DSLR photography and that is macro. Macro photography. Do you know why guys? Because macro photography not only requires you to have a good sensor, but it also requires a dedicated hardware. That is a macro lens. And that's why Chinese OEMs like Xiaomi, Poco and even OnePlus are now investing in dedicated macro lenses on their smartphones but you can see the quality of the images that can be shot from their camera because the resolution of the sensor that has been used for macro photography is not good another thing is the dedicated macro lens is not of high quality combining these two elements give you a subpar image that needs a lot of edits before we can share it on our insta feeds but make no mistake the samples that you guys saw in the starting of those videos cannot be taken on a smartphone without a specialized hardware. Today we are talking about Ulanzi smartphone macro photography lens with 75mm focal length and good quality construction. There should be a link to buy the lens down in the comments below. Check the first comment of the video. And now let's get on with the unboxing of the lens. I got this lens for less than 50 bucks and the lens came with a box to carry it with you on your trips. Opening up the box, we can see this microfiber cloth to clean your glass regularly. That should be the standard practice no matter what lens you are using on a smartphone or a camera. You also get this clip with the lens so that you can clip it on the back of your iPhone 10, 10s or 11. This clip also enables the lens to be used with Android smartphones like Redmi K20 Pro or Mi 90 Pro. The lens feels heavy in hand and that in turn vouches for its good build quality. Though it can certainly take few drops but be delicate with this. The optical quality of the lens is on par with all of the good lenses available for smartphones out there. Smartphone macro photography is a good genre especially for times like these when you cannot go out because of the lockdown and social distancing protocols in place. Most of the images that you have seen in the start of the video were shot during the lockdown period and I did not had to go out to take those beautiful shots. For example, in your garden, if you have some plants or if you have balcony, veranda, there might be some hidden opportunities in plain sight for doing good macro photography. But if you don't have specialized glass on your smartphone, then you can kiss your macro photography desires goodbye because macro photography really requires external hardware. And that's why you need to invest in a good macro lens for doing macro photography, especially on a smartphone. And I happily recommend the Ulanzi 75 mm lens because it has got good value and amazing build quality. And for 50 bucks, I think it's a good investment if you really want to dip your toes into a new genre of photography. Here are some sample shots taken on this lens being clipped on iPhone 11, Redmi K20 Pro and Redmi Note 8 Pro. Let me know what you think about these images in the comments down below. That will be a huge boost in morale for making good content videos throughout 2020 on this channel.
Now before we start with what is macro photography, we should first know what macro photography is not. By definition, macro photography means when the size of the subject or the object that you are photographing is roughly equivalent to the size of that subject or object in real life, then the photograph that you have taken is categorized as a macro photo. That is to say the Indian YouTubers who are doing close-up photography samples and showing them as comparing the macro capability of smartphones are not doing the same thing as macro photography. Now that I've talked so much about macro photography, here are four tips to get good macro shots on your smartphone using a third party macro lens like the Ulanji 75mm that we have used in this video. Now the first tip is very simple, it is to shoot always in manual. That means no auto HDR messing up your cute macro photography shots. You need to have absolute control if you are taking macro shots. The second tip is to shoot in plenty of light. That means shooting in daylight or if you are shooting indoors or at night time, having plenty of external lights available for shooting good macro photography. Because the third tip is to shoot with high shutter speed and with high shutter speeds like 1 by 500th of a second or 1 by 1000th of a second, you need a lot of light to compensate for the darkness in exposure that you're gonna get, especially with the smartphone sensors being so small. Now you might be asking why the shutter speed needs to be 1 by 500 or 1 by 1000 or very high. That's because a lot of macro subjects will be insects, flies, bees or something that is not laying still for you and you have to freeze them in action. That is why you need very high shutter speeds while doing macro photography and that requires you to have plenty of light available to take good quality shots. And last tip is to have plenty of patience. Those photographs and video samples that I've displayed in this video were shot with a lot of patience. For every good macro shot that you get, you have to discard at least 25 bad ones because the depth of field while working with macro photography is very less and the subjects are very unpredictable. Though if you keep on doing macro photography, you develop a lot of patience and patience is a virtue that is going to help you in more than just macro photography. In fact, in life, it's the best virtue to have. Well, that's it for this video guys. Hope you guys like the content. Hit that like button and share it with all your friends to help the channel grow. This is Chirag signing out and if you like my haircut, do leave a comment down below because I did this myself and I'm too proud of it to ever back down.